welcome to a very special London address, 87 Hackford Road in Brixton. And it's special because in 1873, the great painter Vincent van Gogh was said to have lived here. He'd come to London to work as an art dealer and his workplace was in Covent Garden, but he found rooms here with a lady called Mrs. Lawyer. People were unsure exactly where Van Gogh had lived in London. They knew he was here, but they weren't sure of the address. And then, in 1979, there was that great postal strike, you may remember. And one of the striking postmen, Mr. Chalcroft, who was a great Van Gogh fan, decided that during this time when he was on strike, he'd devote himself to finding out where Van Gogh lived. And because of his efforts and his research, Eventually, they found it was this place here, 87 Hackford Road. Three years ago, a postman rang the bell to inform my wife that the world famous painter Vincent van Gogh May had lived in 87 Hackford Road, SW9. My right honourable friend and colleague, I am writing to, express, writing to express my sincere objection to the demolition of number 87 Hackford Road. I've been here before. I made a film about van Gogh once, and I remember interviewing a Mrs. Smith, who lived here at the time. She told me what it was like to live in the house in which Van Gogh had supposedly lived in London. How many people would come round all the time and knock on her door, and the big tour parties that arrived from Japan and all around the world, just to be near where Vincent had lived. And now, interestingly, a Dutch artist who lives and works in Britain, called Saskia Olden Wolbers, has also taken over the house and she's made a piece, a house-wide installation all about Van Gogh and the things that went on in 87 Hackford Road and also about the things we imagine went on here. So the idea is you walk into the house, not quite sure what you're going to find, and then you work your way around listening to all these voices. It's the house talking to you. I am aware that the house is furnished by a musty smell and that our bamboo wallpaper has its plants watered from below. You see, any type of structure, your new or my old, will be affected by the vast underground stream that runs below the nearby Brixton Road. So as you go through the house, you hear all these Imagine. stories about Van Gogh, these myths and legends that have grown up about the story of this house. And in the end, what I think Saskia Olde Volbers has done here is make a piece that isn't just about Van Gogh, it's about our appetite for historic locations, for places that resonate with meaning. I mean, this was just a nowhere house in Brixton, but because of the postman's discovery, because of the fact that people think Van Gogh lived here, now, well, it's almost got the atmosphere of a shrine. So this isn't just a piece about Van Gogh. It's a piece about our need to commemorate the past. And, very importantly, it's also a piece about how art can turn nowhere into somewhere. 